What is up YouTube? It is Matt back with another crypto video. Uh, this first article I have for you here, five ways blockchain could change the world. Coming out of Forbes, this article is uh, really uh, fantastic. And one of the five points they bring up is how blockchain technology could really revolutionize the healthcare industry, which leads me to the second article here on why Digibyte might be the one chosen to be the one uh, that transforms the multi-billion dollar healthcare industry. And I will end this video with three articles uh, that kind of detail how uh, crypto is becoming more and more adopted across the entire world. So the South Korean official proposes greater cooperation for global crypto regulation. This article here, a billion people will be using cryptocurrency in five years, predicted by Brian Armstrong, who's an executive uh, at Coinbase. And uh, real quick here, this first line is interesting. Uh, the world of money is revolutionizing uh, right in front of our eyes, which makes me think of a tweet that I saw, I think it was yesterday, uh, out of from Oliver Isaacs. It says, 3,000 years ago, uh, seashells were used as currency, and we can't help but think how primitive that was. Today we use paper money, and eventually people will wonder how we could have been so primitive. And really, uh, it just like hits the nail on the head. Uh, cryptocurrency is definitely the future. And then this last article here, uh, more uh, positive news for cryptocurrency is uh, cryptocurrency has been legitimized by Uzbekistan and uh, Iran has recognized the mining of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as an industry. So uh, if you enjoy this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications, like it, share it, leave a comment, and let's get right to this first article. So five ways blockchain could change the world. Uh, you've probably heard of blockchain, but do you really know what it's used for? Aside from underpinning a new class of digital assets called cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, uh, blockchain has many significant implications for how we live, work, and play. So what is blockchain? Put simply, uh, blockchain is a new way of storing information. You can think of it as a shared virtual ledger owned by users called nodes on the blockchain network. Any change to that ledger, if someone transfers money or updates a legal contract, for example, is cryptographically verified and then reflected across the entire network, visible to everyone. Blockchain is the ultimate enemy of bureaucracy. Uh, with, the use, with the use of smart contracts, pieces of code that automate manual processes, uh, blockchain can remove middlemen from a lot of traditionally complex tasks like buying a house or sending money abroad. The result is a cheaper, faster, and more transparent technological framework for the most important industries in society. So why should we care? As a CEO of altcoin.io, uh, we're Investigating how to bring about these changes faster. We're working on improving the speed, scalability, and interoperability of different blockchains while also helping others build their own applications. Uh, blockchain's potential is yet to be fully understood, similar to how uh, we didn't fully understand the internet in its early days. And look how, how much uh, just the internet has changed the world. So blockchain will be very similar in how uh, revolutionary it's going to be. Uh, but should it continue its path to adoption, we could see some radical changes. Let's explore five of them. One is sending money abroad will be quicker. Sending money abroad can take days. At best, this is frustrating. At worst, it could mean friends or family are lacking basic necessities or waiting for emergency medical treatment. Uh, currently, banks hold foreign currencies in a Nostro slash Vostro accounts in their countries uh, and use the SWIFT messaging system to arrange transfers. If an agreement exists between the the two banks, the transfer is usually done in the same business day, but in developing countries where currencies are strictly controlled, your bank uh, must use intermediaries or liquidity agents, which are more expensive, time consuming and labor intensive and could thus result in a couple days before you see the money transferred instead of one business day. So blockchain solutions like Ripple's X current dramatically reduce the time and cost of sending money abroad with participating banks connected through the blockchain network. All the compliance and ID checks are fulfilled automatically and authenticated by cryptographic signatures. Once cleared, transactions are usually settled in just a few seconds, leaving an immutable transparent record for both banks. Uh, point number two, buying a house will be easier and faster. The property market is a messy, tedious business. Uh, buying a house can take months of grueling paperwork and costly lawyer fees. In the UK, things are even worse. Your seller can accept your offer but then reject it later for a higher bid, a tactic known as uh, gas dumping, uh, though officials are finally starting to regulate that. Uh, so most property market issues stem from a lack of trust. Complex land registries backed by uh, reams of signed paperwork 
make tracking difficult, and verification requires the coordination of banks, government agencies, and lawyers. The end result is an expensive, time-consuming process that many of us dread. Blockchain, however, is trustless, removing the need for the complex verification processes carried out by the intermediaries. With blockchain, there is a single transparent version of the truth, uh, and one party can't make changes without agreement from everybody else. It's effectively tamper-proof, which cuts down on the paperwork and reduces the risk of fraud. Uh, click to purchase, for example, has replaced the laborious title exchange process in the UK with blockchain smart contracts. Once your offer is accepted, titles exchange immediately, preventing anyone from gazumping you and thus outbidding you and you losing the house you wanted. So in the US, uh, Propy is also using blockchain for title exchange in an attempt to automate the real estate industry. And certainly if you could uh, put a bid on a house buy it and own it all within one day that would certainly be a major improvement uh, upon the current system so uh, way number three it can revolutionize is it'll be easier to treat health problems your medical history helps doctors treat you quickly and effectively but chances are it's fragmented across multiple health care providers and incapabilities between provider systems make transferring records slow and often requiring manual intervention. Without your full medical history, doctors could waste money and time on tests you don't need or be unable to give you the best treatment. So blockchain could make it easier to treat health problems by radically improving the accuracy and availability of your medical history by creating an accessible permanent blockchain record owned by you you could instantly reveal the ailments, allergies, and lifestyle factors to help doctors diagnose and treat you. It'll also verify your identity, ensuring you are not confused with the other John Smith in the waiting room. Uh, way number four is you'll be able to verify that what you buy is genuine, whether you're buying a conflict-free diamond ring, a ticket to your favorite band, or prescription drugs from, for a health problem. Proof of authenticity is vital, and I know VeChain is working... Uh, on that process of being uh, verifying the authenticity of products. So supply chains that manage every step a product goes bef through before arriving in your hands is incredibly complex with many intermediaries confusing the journey. Currently, the bulk of supply, ch supply chain management is done through EDI, a messaging system first introduced in the 1970s. Although a, a big step from paper, it's far from perfect. EDI is two-way only, leaving other interested parties out of the loop. If two parties commit to defrauding a third, their activities would remain hidden. Or hidden. An example is uh, fake goods manufacturers conspiring with di distributors to sell products on Amazon. And I know that IBM is making their own blockchain that's already uh, being tested by many shipping companies across the world to kind of streamline the uh, logistics and putting uh, all logistical information on the blockchain it's already being done by IBM. Uh, so that is, that's not the case with blockchain. Every stage of a product's journey from its manufacturer to the serial of its shipping container is recorded and available to all stakeholders with no possibility of cutting corners or falsifying information. It also provides an open and transparent framework that eliminates confusion and disputes. In short, blockchain ensures that when you buy something, it's the real deal. Uh, point number five is you'll be able to learn or earn more money from things you don't use. Uh, big players in the sharing economy like Airbnb and Uber make money doing very little. They generate income from connecting people, not by renting property or driving a fleet of taxis, yet still charge a huge sum for their services. Since blockchain is decentralized, there are no intermediaries and no need for sharing platforms. You can rent out your home, your car, or any other connected smart object with no tech giants setting the rules and nibbling away at your profits. So there you have it. There are five ways that blockchain technology stand to revolutionize our everyday life. I know there are certainly going to be a lot more. These are kind of just five of the most obvious ways blockchain can be utilized. But like I said, we're in the beginning stages of blockchain, similar to the beginning of the internet. And we, re we really don't know what all it can do yet. So this next article here, uh, Digibyte can transform the multi-billion dollar healthcare industry. Uh, recently, Digi the Digibyte founder said something to the effect that patients should have control over their medical information. The idea is to personalize medical information and develop better relations between patients and medical practitioners. In the past, there have been numerous cases of fatal misdiagnosis 
due to altering of patients' medical data by the wrong people. Such cases would uh, pretty much never arise if the patient data is immutable and only available to the physician that the patient chooses. Uh, this is critical for the long-term improvement of healthcare systems and make medicine better. It is one of the areas where blockchain technology has a massive use case in the future. And Digibyte is one of the key blockchain projects that will transform this market. That's because it's one of the most secure blockchains in the market. This makes it perfect fit for the storage of patient data without the risk of any malicious alterations. Healthcare databases have been attacked in the past, meaning that this is not a theoretical use case. It is real and it is needed. On top of that, Digibyte's DigiID makes it possible for patients to access their medical records online without the risk of being compromised by third parties. DigiID works by allowing a user to log into any online systems without using passwords, which works quite well with the needs of the healthcare industry. DigiID is a working product that is already gaining adoption as can be seen with companies like Anthem. And I touched on their partnership the other day in one of my Digibyte videos. So integrating uh, DigiID into their systems with time the healthcare, or yeah, the healthcare will find that it is an that it it is an invaluable tool, as it slowly becomes the standard for cybersecurity. With such a strong use case in healthcare, Digibyte has a massive leeway to grow in the future. That's because the healthcare sector is a multi-billion-dollar market, and has online security needs that are yet to be fulfilled. A break a break by Digibyte into this market could see its value skyrocket by a huge margin. Uh, from an investor viewpoint, the odds of Digibyte gaining adoption in this market are quite high since it is one of the very few truly decentralized blockchains that is also scalable on-chain. This makes it perfectly suited for an industry as large and as lucrative as healthcare. The future of Digibyte is bright. It has a multifaceted use case, one that could see its va value rise significantly in the future. Adoption of Digibyte as a currency as well as a cybersecurity tool could push it to one dollar in the near future and uh i would agree with that but again this is not financial advice so uh switching to these last few articles i have here is the south korean official proposes greater cooperation for global crypto regulation and that, that's just good news that uh, more and more countries are recognizing the uh value of cryptocurrency and the potential it has and uh really we need we do need some regulation on how it's all going to work if we're going to mass adopt it into everyday society and everything that we use. So it's good to see that governments and regulators are starting to realize this and work together to figure out all the rules that are going to go with it. So the IFSC is an organization which supervises the financial industry, including banks, security and insurance companies. South Korea and a list of the companies that uh, South Korea was speaking to at this uh, meeting was obviously South Korea, Japan, Australia, Singapore, Canada, the UK, Germany, Netherlands, Austria, Switzerland, Norway, Sweden, Hungary, Iceland, Denmark, and Ireland. And uh, certainly that is a lot of countries. Uh, they are definitely allies with the United States. And uh, as, as these countries start to work together and hash out all the rules, that's when we're going to start to see mass adoption of cryptocurrency. And uh, I know the United States needs to start getting on this, get this train going as well. Uh, so this next article here, uh, a billion people will be using cryptocurrency in five years, said by Brian Armstrong. So the world of money is revolutionizing in front of our eyes. Cryptocurrency is creating new paradigms for alternative payment systems and decentralizing banking. Uh, there is no doubt that the user adoption of various cryptocurrencies is rapidly increasing. The cryptocurrency industry has become more fluid as the borders between it and mainstream finance continue to blur. At the same time, regulators are spending long hours at work to regulate the booming circle of crypto enthusiasts. Uh, and this could be one of the prime reasons why Brian Armstrong believes that crypto adoption will increase at an astronomical pace in the next half decade. Uh, the rest of this article kind of details uh, Coinbase and how successful they have been. Uh, they recently entered the UK market and... I uh, had a paragraph here. They are entering uh, the African market soon, which will this increase uh, the adoption of cryptocurrencies. And uh, as Coin Coinbase is the largest um, Bitcoin and alt altcoin exchange by trading volume in the entire world, they have over 13 million users to date. And it, that makes up 32.5% of the overall cryptocurrency users. 
So um, in the long run, Armstrong believes that they will function or that Coinbase will function like the New York Stock Exchange with the probability of millions of tokens in their portfolio. We do feel a substantial uh, subset of these tokens will be securities. Uh, I know not a lot of them are right now, but in the future, it could be more like a security or a stock of investment into a company rather than use as a currency. Certainly, there will be some chosen to be used as currency, but a vast majority of them could become uh, securities. So he says, we do feel substantially a subset of these tokens will be securities. He said, our approach has always been to be the most trusted cryptocurrency exchange and the easiest to use. So we want to be uh, the legal compliant place where you can start to trade these tokens that are classified as currencies. And certainly I would like to see Coinbase start to list more currencies available for purchase, uh, such as Cardano, uh, Digibyte, to name a few. Obviously I want more of them on there, but uh, we're still early. So this last article I have here is that cryptocurrency, out of cryptocurrency, uh, out of the Inc. 42, sorry, cryptocurrency this week, uh, Ubekistan legitimizes Bitcoin and Iran recognizes mining as an industry. I will not read this entire article, but I will read a few key parts. So in a recent or a significant development, the president of Ubekistan has now signed a decree that permits the existence of cryptocurrency exchanges and other activities surrounding the industry. Uh, switching to Iran, according to the Iranian news daily Abina, Secretary of Iran's Supreme Council of Cyberspace has now stated that cryptocurrencies mining like Bitcoin has been accepted as an industry in the government and all related organizations to the mining, such as Ministry of Communications and IT, Central Bank, Ministry of Industry, Mining and Trade, Ministry of Energy, as well as Ministry of Economic Affairs and Finance have agreed to it. Uh, but the final policy for legislation has not been declared yet, but they're certainly moving in that direction. And that's uh, great news as more and more countries are recognizing cryptocurrency as uh, being a legit form of currency. And really that is what we need to start to see mass adoption. And I apologize for the length of this video. Hopefully you made it this far into it. Again, if you enjoy it, hit the subscribe button, like it, share it, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later.